Good evening, Soul Tribe. My spiritual warriors. <clears throat> Welcome to my channel, Spiritual Guidance 1111. Um, as always, read the disclaimer. Um, I only have one question. I have two, and I think it's, her name's Debbie. Um, I, I'm hoping that she finds that question and, and, and resubmits it because obviously I missed it and, and I'm, I can't find it. Anyway, she said it was like from two days ago and I've went back five days and I still can't, I can't locate the question. And I really apologize. I really do. I uh, feel bad about it. Uh, that's why I'm asking to resubmit it. Uh, we're going to start loading at 5 a.m. 0500 in the morning. So most likely tomorrow evening we'll be headed to Louisville. And that'll be a good five days of... Um, I'll just keep you posted. Uh, you know, it is my job, and I I do what I can when I can. It's hard to uh, post a video. It's hard to make a video in my quarters because you know, the engines are running. The big engines they they make a rumbling sound, and it is just it's very distracting. We're gonna do a reading tonight, and. We'll see how it goes. I've shuffled all the cards and uh, uh, prayed over the cards. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. Apologize. Uh, right now it's right at 2:45 in the morning. So. I'm a little spin. This first card out is hmm, drastic. Something drastic. Extreme, harsh. Hmm. We'll see how where this goes. I didn't even ask the Holy Spirit a question. I just pulled the uh in the pre-shuffle when I was shuffling. This card came out twice. I, I I I noticed this card twice, and it was like new love. There's new love that's coming into this reading. That way, I don't know if it's coming into the reading, but it it I did observe it twice when I was doing the shuffle. So. Ooh. Pressure cooker. Hmm. Somebody that because of of the, of the drastic and the the extreme, they feel like they in a pressure cooker. Yeah, the realization, realization, they something has come to light. Something has come to light. This lands on top of pressure cooker. They bid something triggered her. Something has triggered them. And they things are up and down. It's laying on top of pressure cooker and realization. Yeah, they got like they, they their life is like a roller coaster. It is like it ain't. It's not a flat surface. It's like ups and downs. Hmm. hmm. Irreconcilable differences. There's something extreme that happened that is harsh. And 
and they feel like they're in a pressure cooker or they felt like they was in a pressure cooker. Whoever this is going to resonate with. See, either you or your person. And they realize something. They, something has come to light that triggered them. And their life is a roller coaster. And whatever has come to light has caused with them or with you or with both of you irreconcilable differences. So there's some differences that and they have the saying on top of trigger. They have anxiety. They worried. Hmm. They are worried about what Holy Spirit? They feel threatened and embarrassed. They feel threatened and embarrassed. And they in lockdown. In their mind, in their mind, they they feel Hmm. What are they? Ooh. A forbidden love. They are hmm. they in irreconcilable differences over a some kind of love that they realized that came to light. So let me look at this. They some kind of, of extreme, harsh, drastic, and that put them in a situation where they felt like they was in a pressure cooker. And that's all that means is that, you know, they were upset. And it came to light and this put them in, in irreconcilable differences. They got anxiety. They, they feel embarrassed. This has to do with them. I, I think not with somebody else. It has to do with the person this is resonating with. And they're in their head about it. They, they, they're in a middle mental prison. It's got to be something like terrible. Yeah. It's got to be like really bad. Ooh. TikTok. TikTok. They take time as a factor. They're running out of time. Possibly before this comes out. Hmm. And whoever they worried about is not saying nothing. It's crickets. Whoever this person is worried about being embarrassed or and possibly the entire public is going to be they're going to be embarrassed because uh, possibly. But they are in a prison over a certain individual. They don't want that person to know about a forbidden love. Maybe same-sex relationship or something like that. Who knows? They are TikTok. A time is a factor, and I don't know if it's maybe they are not saying anything. Silence, or are they trying to hold out? Yes, and they, they, this came out over embarrassed. They threatened and locked down. They want to, maybe whoever has the information or they want to talk to them and have a maybe a compromise. Maybe they want to bring it to the person that they worried about ahead of time, but they're not. They're in denial that it ever happened. They, they still, they're going to deny that it ever happened. Even with the proof, 
that they have, the whoever has, they're going to say that it, it, it didn't happen. And they are emotional over the entire situation. They're emotional about it. Waves of emotion. Yes. They need some financial help. And it's laying on top of TikTok. This is it might be running out of time for financial help. Yep, they spinning the wheel. They feel like they on a hamster wheel. They just barely surviving, if at all. Barely surviving. Yeah, they feel like they anchored. They they feel like they weighted down. They 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 don't have no freedom. Hmm. They get locked down. They lock. They they feel like they're in a lockbox. They they trapped. And it's this is all. I don't know if it all has to do with just financial situation. I think this has a lot to do with a relationship situation. Something to do, and it could be. I, I, I just don't see that this person having a conniption fit over scared, embarrassed, and in their head over just a financial situation. I don't see that. I just, I don't get that. There's more to it than that. Hmm. Holy Spirit, what is this about? I mean, I mean, I get it, you know, but you, we they want intervention. They want some help. Or they they've already sought intervention. They've already. And they hoping, they wishing for intervention. They need help. They, they big time. They need help. Oh yeah. They thinking about something. Memories. They think. Oh yeah. History. They thinking about something in the past. They're thinking about something in the past. They're thinking about, huh, a commitment that was long term. A commitment that was long term, and they're obsessed. They've had a spiritual awakening. They done. Wow. But they are definitely thinking. We'll go with the Divine Headquarters next. That's Mystic Beauty's deck. Um. Hmm. There's a mature woman. Holy Spirit, tell us about this. What about the mature woman? This mature woman is thinking Thinking, thinking about what? Tell us what are they thinking about? Hmm. 
ending to a contract. Obviously, this was a spiritual contract. It, uh, a mature woman thinking about a contract, and it, it can be a marital contract, a 3D marital contract. It can be it can be just friendships. It can just be the ending of something. This is what this is. Ending something. Hmm. Well. This was in reverse. It's lying that on top of thinking. Thinking woman. This woman is thinking about a gift that either wasn't accepted or lost. A gift from God that was either not accepted, refused, or lost. And that's in reverse. A fool. A fool's journey landed between a thinking woman because she was, she's thinking about that. She's thinking about she 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 looks like a clown or she she thinks she she's a clown. Landed also on top of contract ended because of that. All of this, they feel like a fool. Yes. Praying man. Praying man. Mature woman that's thinking about a contract that ended with a praying man. They think they're a fool now because of a gift that they don't have anymore. The gift was a wealthy man. It landed on top of gift. A gift was a wealthy man. An emperor on top of that. This this landed on top of gift, reverse, and a fool's journey. Wow. What? This is kind of like the last reading we had. This wealthy man and this emperor has ancient knowledge. That means they have spiritual knowledge. Yes. This praying man that has ancient knowledge, has ancestral protection. That means that his ancestors watch over him. They protect him. Keep him safe. Spiritually safe. This land on top of wealthy man. This wealthy man was a blessing from God to somebody. Huh. Or is a blessing from God. But if that gift is reversed, so it has to be. Yeah. Yes, somebody, they lost that gift because they have regrets. Land on top of wealthy man and emperor. They lost a emperor that was a wealthy man. Uh oh. Hmm. That ain't good. And they had they have had expectations. Or the emperor had unmet expectations. 
Let's see what the call. What that? Tell, clarify that for me, Holy Spirit. What that? Yes. That's this person. This mature woman is in poverty. They the ones that they didn't meet the expectations of the emperor and the wealthy man. They had expectations and they expected that for this mature woman to meet them and they didn't. And now they're in poverty because they lost the gift. Well, uh, oh. Yes, again, this person, this praying man, that's a wealthy man, that's an emperor, is protected big time. They have ancestor protection. Nobody can get to them. Not spiritually. Ain't gonna happen. This person is worried. They are worried. That's why they're thinking. This mature woman, thinking woman that had a contract in with the praying man that's a wealthy emperor. They worry for whatever reason. Don't know what it is yet, but we'll find out. Holy Spirit, tell me about that. They stay up all night worried. They up all night worried about it. And if they do sleep, it ain't a whole lot. They listen to music. They listen to music and... Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. They either watch readings or they went to a reader to get spiritual guidance. This could have been a priest also, a preacher, a, a religious individual, but there's a new beginning coming. Who's the new beginning for? Who is the new beginning for Holy Spirit? Oh, new love. New love. That That's the card that came out a couple of times I saw. New love. That, that There's new love coming. There is new love coming. And this person, divine mission work, spiritual court, they feel trapped. They work a lot in a sweatshop. They want to break a generational curse and they are high priests. Wow. Let's take this card. New love coming. New love coming. Unseen oracle. Holy Spirit. Tell us about this new love coming. Yeah. Inquiring minds want to know. This new love has been unseen and unheard.
they just unseen and unheard. They there and they've been there for a while. But they don't say anything. They just observe and they watch. Mm-hmm. They are positive and open-minded, optimistic, very optimistic. Hmm. Expectant, hopeful, and patient. This is for my, my soul tribe. This right here is for my spiritual warriors. This is a new love coming for you. This is not coming for whoever you in no contact, whoever ghosted you, whoever, all of that. This is not for them, that's for you. This is for my soul tribe, my spiritual warriors. New love. They are coy and nervous. They shy. Mm -hmm. They are shy. They brave. They are brave. And you can be both. You can be brave and shy. They calm. They relaxed. And if they're female, they party. They are very party. If they are male, masculine, handsome. Mm hmm. Ooh. They in love with you, collective. They in love with my soul tribe. They are in love. They adore you, spiritual warrior. They adore you. Hmm. Infatuated. This is not a karmic, toxic person right here. This is just the opposite. This is a divine individual that is, I'm talking about. But because they love you and they adore you, they are jealous. They may not say nothing because they unseen, they unheard, they don't say a whole lot. But they are jealous. Mm-hmm. They watching and they like this person is safe, comfortable. You can trust this person. You know why? Because they're divine, they're not toxic and karmic. They are a divine individual. Divine people you can trust, they will keep a promise. Don't matter what the cost. Don't matter what it is, they will keep a, a promise. And sometimes when you make a promise, it can cost you a lot in everything. Emotionally, financially, spiritually. Yes, it definitely costs you spiritually if you don't keep the promise you made. God frowns on that. This person is like, has, has like a... A... Um, hmm. What's the word? A childlike happiness. They they are like childlike happiness. Very, very joyful. Happy all the time. Mm -mm. But they, they they have a past, which who doesn't? Everybody has a past. But this person that is either in your life that is unseen and watching this person that you may not have noticed yet, but you will. 
they watching you and they have a pass they they very sentimental They shocked and in disbelief. Why are they shocked and disbelief? This landed on top of love and jealous. They why? Maybe because maybe because you show you showing some interest in this person. That's why they shocked and jealous. I mean, they're shocked and in disbelief. I think that's what it is. And they, they pray. They praying and they will be devoted to you and only you. Yes, they praying to whoever they pray to. And they say, please give me a chance. Please give me a chance. They are confident and self-assured. They elated, passionate, and excited. Maybe for the chance that you will show interest in them. That's why they shocked. That's why they shocked. I apologize again. <clears throat> Let's turn some Tyra. I want to know more about this new love coming. First one out. Queen of Cups. Hello, boo. Hey, boo. Queen of Cups. Yes, indeed. Libra energy. Mature. That's a mature individual. This is not no young, young person. This, and this is gender notwithstanding. This could be a masculine or a feminine Queen of Cups. This is a mature person. They are kind, happy. We already got that. They already, they are happy. They got that childlike joy in them. They are romantic. Queen of Cups is emotion. You know, the Queen of Cups is the emotional person that guides emotions in this reading. They are very beautiful. So they look good. But because they're the queen of cups, they easily hurt. You have to tread lightly with this person. They, they can be hurt pretty easy. They're loyal and faithful. Who? Smell good. Call. What you think they wear? I wonder what they... What, what girl, what you got on? Tell what there you are with your old spice. Hey, again, an ace of cups in, in the upright. New beginnings. Ace of cup is new beginnings. Mm -hmm. New relationship. <laughs> That's, this is all about, this is new love coming to my spiritual warriors. So stay on the lookout.
The Two of Cups. We got three cups right here all together. Yes, Two of Cups. There's a person coming in here that, that, that somebody getting booed up. I'm going to tell you that. They all be, there is a boo coming into your life. Soul Tribe, Spiritual Warriors, there is a boo coming. God heard your prayers. Mm -hmm. This person works hard too. This person works hard. Seven of Pentacles. It's a hard worker. Mm -hmm. They plant seeds. They watch it. They nurture it. And what I'm talking about is their job. I'm talking about their work. Actually, other things too. Their, their passion. They, they, they watch things grow. Love. They will plant seeds in love, which would be in my spiritual warriors. And they will watch that love grow. Yes. And it lands on top of Ace of Cups. New beginnings. Temperance. I'm telling you, again, temperance is a temperance. It's a card of, and it lands next to on top of Ace of Cups and Two of Cups. This is a relationship card, a soulmate card. In this situation, in, in the placement of this card with the other cards around it, this is a relationship card. This is going to be a soulmate for you, spiritual warrior. They are in route. And this person will stand up for you and protect your back, your six. This person will not hurt you. Seven of Wands. They will stand up for you. They will be in your corner. This is the protective card in the upright. When it comes to you, they will be very assertive. Territorial. Put it that way. Remember, they're jealous in the, other, in the other cards, in the Unseen Oracle. They were jealous. So whoever's coming, it's not like a, a crazy jealous. It's a, it's a, I guess you could call it maybe like a humble jealous. They territorial jealous. This person's heart been broken. Yes, but for you, their heart's been broken, but for you, they're going to release the pain. They're going to let it go. They're going to let it go. They're going to overcome whatever, whatever issues they have for you. Mm-hmm. Tower in the reverse. Tower in reverse. Mm -hmm. What this is, is the tower in reverse next to the three of swords in reverse. 
is they're going to release whatever pain that they had, the depression that came with the heartbreak that they had in, in previously. Previously, they had heartbreak. And the tower in reverse is, is saying that they are going to uh, avoid heartbreak again. They're gonna they're gonna avoid that. They're gonna postpone. Maybe maybe it, it uh, not talk about their their past heartbreak. They're not you know, they're not gonna dwell on it. Put it put it like that. They're not gonna dwell on it. Yes. The Four of Cups in reverse. This is a letting go card also. The Four of Cups in reverse is again a letting go. They, they want to let go of whatever heartbreak, whatever past they had, whatever past pain they had. They want to let it go and they don't want it to interfere with you, soul tribe, with my spiritual warriors. They don't want to let that interfere with whatever relationship they start with you. Then, no. Oh. Ace of Wands in the upright. I guess new beginning. New beginnings. Ace of Wands is... New beginnings. Good news, too. Yes, indeed. Four of swords in reverse. And it lands on top of the three of swords in reverse. They want to... They want to rejoin the... Relationship community. This person hasn't been in a relationship for a while. This person hasn't been in. I mean, they have friends. They blah blah, you know, but they haven't. They haven't loved somebody like you know, like for a while. Because they was hurt so bad. And they got the tower in reverse, and then the, the four of cups in reverse, and the ace of wands in the upright. And now we have the Four of Swords that lands on top of the Three of Swords. This is, could be a spiritual person too. They, they may believe in prayer and believe in, in, uh, in the Almighty. Mm-hmm. Good deal. And they, um, ooh, hey, boo, the Queen of Swords. That's my girl right there, the Queen of Swords. Yes, indeed. Whoo, looking so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got the Queen of Swords. The land on top of the Three of Swords and the Tower in Reverse. This chick don't play. This chick is very honest. Not gonna lie to you. They will not. They are very frank and very protective of you. Mm hmm. They will not play. They'll play with you, but they ain't gonna let nobody else come play with you. Mm hmm. No. Be like, no, no, girlfriend. No, you're not. Mm. That's my boy toy right there. Hell no. And she's so pretty. God, doggy. God damn it. Yes, this queen of swords. This new love, this new boo that's coming into your life. 
They want to help you move into calm waters. They want to calm everything down. They want to smooth things out. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, they had, they were in a storm themselves. They had the Three of Swords, you know, in reverse. They had heartbreak and they know all about that. Then they got the, the tower in reverse. So, that being said, they know all about that. And then they got the page of wands. Page of wands is right here. Mm -hmm. That is, you will be that wish fulfillment. Spiritual warrior, you will be that wish fulfillment. That's what this is. Nine of cups. page of wands is it's good news it's gonna happen that's what the Holy Spirit says it's good news they're making plans right now mm -hmm. they're gonna make a phone call they're gonna send send a text they're gonna contact they, they will make contact and, and you there is they will have some type of relationship that's going to develop right here. That's a fact. Yes, indeed. Success. Mm -hmm. The Knight of... No, this is the Six of Wands. What I'm talking about, the Knight. Hmm. That's the Six of Wands. This is, is success, man. Success is, is when you're dealing with wands, wands is passion. Wands is, the five of wands is you can either take a step back to the four of wands or you can take a step forward. That's like you're moving forward with the six of wands. And that's what this is. This is success, victory. They going to you they this will be a winning team. Mm -hmm. Yes indeed. Yes, and they, they they moving. You see, chariot. This is moving. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles. Hey girlfriend. Hot oh, damn it. I see nothing but like, wow, absolutely. You will be booed up with somebody that is going to love you to death. You ain't going to know what to do with all that love. You better sell some of that. I can guarantee you that. I'm going to end that right here. And let's see. Let's see what the reading is. I mean, the reading, uh, the uh, question is, comes from life hack life hacker what does the card say about what to invest in hmm. and what do you invest in if you don't mind me asking I don't mind oh what do the card say for a for you, I do not read the cards to invest or when it comes to pentacles. I, I do not do that. You, it can, it can get dicey when you start giving financial advice to people. Um, it can be extremely... And not to mention there's ethical, there's liability, there's, it's like, um, and what would you want to know? That's what would be my first question. What would you want to know? Most people say, well, I would want to make money. 
Well, when it comes to that, and it, the other part of the question says, what do you invest in? A lot of things. <laughs> a lot of, I invest in a lot of things. Uh, and I go most of the time, I go long term. There are, I do have some short term investments, but I am a long term investor. It takes time for your money to make money. Unless you, you're a billionaire, and then you know you make quite a bit of money in a very short amount of time. You can also lose a lot. Anything short, you will, you can lose a lot. You can, you can, uh, and I'm gonna tell you this. Best thing for you to do, life hacker, is read and study. There are some short-term investments you can get into that is seasonal, and when I say seasonal, that's exactly what I mean. You can invest, you can begin investing in September. Uh, you can begin investing in September and sell just before Christmas or right around Christmas time. Because after Christmas, some of those investments will take a dive. Uh, as in toys or uh, Mattel or things like that. And I'm not telling you, I am not advising you at all on what to invest in. I am just saying to study and read about it. There are seasonal investments that you can make, that you can make quite a bit of money in a short amount of time, but you can also lose a lot. You can lose a lot. Take, for instance, energy. We push gas and and. and fuel oil, diesel, jet fuel around. Uh, in the winter time, as if it's a very, very cold winter, make a ton of money on fuel oil. Yeah, absolutely. People use fuel oil to heat their homes. Make a lot of money with that. If the winter ain't cold, guess what? Or lose your ass. I'm just saying. They won't be able to get rid of the fuel oil that they done bought. And there's other things. I mean, yeah, there's other things that you can invest in. I, I, I have investments in, in crypto. I have investments in other things. And uh, I have done well. I've lost some money. I admit, <laughs> I freely admit that. You know, who, 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 what investor don't lose? That's my question. What investor don't lose? Uh, so, you know, I hope I answered your question. I, I you know, I'm not going to give you a specific on what I invest in. But uh, most of my investments are long term. I do not, uh, I do have a few short term. And uh, I'm going to tell you one. I'll tell you one that I do invest in. And I'm heavily invested in it. Heavy is artificial intelligence, AI. It is the future. AI is the future. Now, is this going to pay off? Yeah, you know, I have a 10-year window. That's what my, I think it's going to pay off way before 10 years because it's already in almost all systems within the internet, on your phone, it is something that is going to explode bigger than Facebook or anything else. AI is something that I believe, and I'm not saying that you should invest. I'm not, I, I do not take this ad advice because you could lose, I could lose big time because I am that, I am that invested in it. But I'm willing to bet on it. If I could go back in time, there's certain things that I would invest in because time factor, Microsoft. I would invest in Microsoft at that time, not now, but at that time I would. And it exploded. It was a very good investment. Other things, Google. Yes, if you there at the right time, you can make a lot of my dump truck load of money. And right now is the time for AI. It will pass. There's something else that will come and take its place. But right now, this is the time. And that's part of what I've learned 
through investment experience. You have to seize the moment. If you don't, the moment will pass and you will lose that moment. Yo, yo, invest when it's too high and then once it starts to fall, too late. Too late. <laughs> and sometimes it don't take a whole lot. It take a whole lot of money sometimes to make money. You can make in crypto if you can invest at the right time. With crypto, when it's pennies, fraction of a dollar. At one time, Bitcoin was very cheap to buy. I bought some. I tell the story about it. I bought some. And I thought I, I, I can't remember exactly how much I, I, I made. It was a few thousand dollars. Shit, I thought I was Elon Musk. I said, hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I was doing the happy dance. I was like, yeah. yeah. Hell yes. It's like I thought I was all that and then some. And it kept going up. See, I had sold. And it kept going up. It had it had it it, it did the roller coaster. But then it started going up and it went up and up and up and, and up and had I hell what I had. I'd, I'd be a multi-millionaire right now. Multi. But, when you don't know, now I learn, from that experience, I learned to hold on. I'm going to just hold. Once you bet, you just hold. So anyway, Live Hacker, I hope I, I answered your question. I appreciate all of y'all. Every one of my subscribers, the likes, the comments. If you have questions, ask David, please send me the question again. I really apologize. I feel terrible about it. I, I overlooked your question, boo. And uh, y'all stay close to God. He loves you, misses you, wants to hear from you. I love you. And like I said, I will be going to Louisville and I will update you. Please check my my community uh, pages and, and uh, I'll stay in touch with that. I try to throw a video here and there, uh, just letting you know. But uh, I enjoyed my reading, which I hope y'all enjoyed it. Peace out.